Hollywood. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. Are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang a right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star. George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato. Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No, I'm a potato. And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> we won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. This is where we make the movie. Wow, it's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh, no talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights, camera, action. Attention, the galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots. Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day, too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, OK. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can eat the carrots. But there are too many. Hello? Hello there? What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbits. We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. <laughs> save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Bye-bye. Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The it was everything! Peppa has had a wonderful time in America. Clubhouse shop! Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop! Yay! Shop, 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 shop! The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. 
The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho. What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be a lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. Twit to woo! OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly! Susie Sheep loves her toy, Owl. Oh, I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, we've got magic clothes. Ooh, are they invisible clothes? Yes, they are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic. I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a queue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> It is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Ice cream! Here is Mr Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please! Ice cream! Ice cream! Thank you! Here is the money. Hang on! These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, ho, ho. I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Fig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams. And one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Grandpa's rock garden. Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, my little ones. Look, Granny. This is my fairy princess. Oh. Hello, Fairy Princess. Granny, where is Grandpa Pig? He's down in the garden making something. Come and see. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? I'm making a rock garden. What is a rock garden? It is a tiny version of a mountain landscape made of just rocks and flowers. Ooh. Nothing is here that wouldn't be on a real mountain. My fairy princess 
could live there. Oh, that wasn't quite the sort of thing I had in mind. There. Uh, maybe that's not. And Mr. Dinosaur could live there too. <laughs> oh, okay. The fairy and the dinosaur can live in the rock garden just for today. Hooray! Now, would you all like to help me find some more rocks? Yes, please. <laughs> found one. <laughs> I found a rock too. I say, you're a nice looking rock. Look, Grandpa, we found rocks. Very good. And look what I found. One of the most unusual rocks I've ever seen. It's all looking very pretty. What else can we add? How about a toy car for the fairy to drive? Uh, maybe not. Or a unicorn for the fairy to ride? Yes, a unicorn would be lovely. No, no, no. I've allowed the castle and the dinosaur, but from now on, just real rocks and flowers. OK, but it could do with some bigger flowers, don't you think? Those look a bit titchy. Well, uh, it's quite early in the year for big flowers. <laughs> Here is Mr Fox in his van. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Well, we do need some flowers for Grandpa's rock garden. Flowers, you say? Lucky I dropped by. I've got flowers like you've never seen before. Here you go. Ooh. Lovely. Do they need any special looking after? No, they're easy to look after. They're plastic. Oh, I don't think Grandpa would like that. He wants real flowers. These are better than real. You can bury them and dig them up in a thousand years and they'll be as good as new. Amazing. And they sing. Wow. Look, Grandpa, we got you flowers. Wow, that big for this time of year. Well done. They will last forever because they are plastic. <sniffs> oh. <coughs> Toy castles, dinosaurs, plastic flowers. At least the rocks are real. <sniffs> Maybe I should move this very nice rock I found to the top. Grandpa, your rock is moving. Ah! It's Tiddles. <laughs> Grandpa's rock is Tiddles the tortoise. Oh, my goodness! Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster. Have you seen my Tiddles? He's run away again. Yes, Grandpa found him. There you are, you naughty little pickle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Uh, you're most welcome. Oh, what a lovely rock garden. Yes, it is rather good. And I suppose it doesn't have to be exactly like a real mountain. Grandpa, we didn't show you the best bit. Peppa loves rock gardens. Everyone loves rock gardens. <laughs> Pepper and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to see what I've made in the garden? Yes, please. Then follow me. I wonder what Grandpa's made this time. I've made a hotel. What's a hotel? A hotel is a house where you can stay for a holiday. <laughs> Hotels are very fancy. Like a Castle? Yes, just like a fairy castle. When you arrive, someone takes your bags and you're given a comfy room to stay in. That's what a hotel is. Mmm, I like hotels. Uh, my hotel isn't exactly like that. I'm sure it's still very nice. Here it is, my bug hotel. Ah. Ah. Oh, my word. Good, isn't it? It isn't quite what I was expecting when you said hotel. How can we stay in that? It's not for us. This hotel is for little bugs. Oh. It is made out of sticks, old logs, bricks and leaves. All the things that bugs like. 
here comes a little beetle. Look, our first guest. Welcome to our hotel. Um, which of our rooms do you fancy? It's going into the tube thing. Yes, the beetle <laughs> likes this bamboo tube the best. It's just the right size for it. It looks really cosy. <laughs> yes, and I want lots more bugs to stay at the hotel because they are very good for the garden. Ooh, look, a ladybird. Ah, yes, here comes our next guest. <laughs> the whole family have come to stay. The baby ladybirds are so sweet. Hello, everyone. For you, I'd recommend our family rooms. The family rooms are a piece of wood with lots of holes. <laughs> Ooh, look, a butterfly. Welcome, Miss Butterfly. I see you've discovered our roof terrace. <laughs> Ugh, these are a bit too creepy crawly for me. No, Granny. These are wood lice. They do lots of good work. They prefer a room that is nice and dark. May I recommend this room for you? Night, night, wood lice. Well done, Grandpa. Your hotel is almost full. There's always room for more guests. The more, the merrier. Look, a bee. It's a bumblebee. In you go. Oh, no, it can't fit in. None of the hotel rooms are big enough for the bumblebee. We'll just have to make a new room. Pepper and George, would you like to help? Yes, please. <laughs> First, we need to find something big enough. What about this flower pot? That's perfect. We'll just turn it upside down. Would the bee like a comfy bed inside? Yes, I'm sure the bee would like that. <laughs> George has found some dry grass. Perfect. That will make a very comfy bed. The flower pot room is just right for the bumblebee. Yes, I'm very happy. She's going buzz, buzz. I'm a bumblebee. I like to buzz around. Buzz. George is a beetle crawling on the ground. We are little bugs. We play all day. We like the bug hotel and we want to stay. Mm, you're very large bugs, aren't you? I don't think we have any rooms big enough. But the bug hotel never turns guests away. We just make more rooms. Here you are, the grandest room of all for our most important <laughs> guests. I'm all lovely and snug. <laughs> I think it's the best fancy hotel in all the world. Yes, it is rather good. <laughs> Pepper and George love the bug hotel. All the little bugs love the bug hotel. <laughs> Pepper and George are spending the night at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig! Thank you! <coughs> Hello, my little ones. <coughs> Where is Grandpa Pig? Oh, he's messing about at the bottom of the garden. <coughs> Here is Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? I'm building somewhere for me to hide. Why? Well, you see, I really want to spot an owl and tick it off in my book. Ah! I have spotted lots of different birds, but never an owl, because owls only come out at night, and they are very shy. Ooh. So tonight, I will hide in here, and when an owl comes, I will spot it. Clever Grandpa! <laughs> First, I have to use twigs and leaves to completely cover my hiding place. We can help. Pepper collects twigs. George collects leaves. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Look, I am completely invisible. <laughs> Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi, dressed as bushes. Hello! Have you seen Grandpa Pig anywhere? Boo! Good hiding place, old chap. 
And what, may I ask, are you two doing here? We are out for a bit of bird spotting. We're hoping to spot an owl tonight. That's why we are pretending to be bushes. Grandpa is going to spot an owl too. Well, good luck, old chap. May the best bird spotter win. Toodle pip. Bye. Grandpa Pig. Cooey. Let's try out our hiding place. On Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa? George? Grandpa? Hello, Granny. We're here. Where? We are hiding. Are you over here? You're getting colder. But I can't see you anywhere. Here we are. Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is a good hiding place. Oh, oh yes. Pepper and George are helping me get ready to spot an owl. I see. OK. Time to spot an owl. <laughs> now, a boy owl makes a sound like this. Doot, doot. Hopefully, a girl owl will hear my call and answer back. Doot, doot. Grandpa, did you hear that? I certainly did. It's a girl owl. <laughs> this girl owl sounds like she's getting closer. Yes, she wants to meet me, the boy owl. Oh, it was just you and me doing owl calls. I thought you were a boy owl. And I thought you were a girl owl. Yes, well, moving quickly on, maybe there's another way to spot a real owl. Like what? You said that owls are very shy. Yes. Well, maybe all this calling is scaring the owls away. Let's hide again, but be very quiet. Brilliant. I suppose it's worth a go. I heard something. Look! It is a real owl. Now I've spotted an owl, I can tick it off in my book. And me. And you. Wow! Owls are the best! Peppa <laughs> loves owls. Everyone loves owls. Skateboarding. Today, Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy Pig are at the park. Peppa has her scooter. George has his tricycle. <laughs> Mummy Pig has her bicycle. And Daddy Pig has his skateboard. Daddy, can I have a go on your skateboard? Skateboarding is quite difficult, even for a grown-up like me. Yes, you don't have anything to hold on to. Please, can I have a go? Well, maybe Daddy could give you a lesson. Yes, I think you're just old enough to learn. Yippee! It's best to start off slowly, like this. Daddy Pig is good at skateboarding. Now it's your turn, Pepper. Yay! Put one foot on the board and push with the other. Well done, Pepper. And now try it with both feet on the board. Look at me! Whoa! Well done! <laughs> I can skateboard! It is Belinda Bear and Simon Squirrel. They are big children. Hey, Pepper! Yo! Hello! Is that your skateboard? It's my daddy's. Can you skate on it? Yes! My daddy taught me. He's the best skateboarder in the world. Well, I suppose I am a bit of an expert at it. Really? So what do you make of these ramps? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! Amazing! Simon and Belinda are very good at skateboarding. Peppa, would you like to try? Yes, but... 
can't skate like you. Hmm, but only because we're older than you. Yes, we're almost grown-ups. I'm nearly ten. Wow! Maybe you big children could give Pepper a lesson. Yes, please. OK, we'll teach you. As long as you keep it slow and safe. Of course, we'll keep it real cool. Let's go down this little ramp. I'm here to catch you, Pepper. OK, Daddy. I'm here to catch you too. <laughs> George is helping as well. <laughs> now, Pepper, put both feet on the board. Yes, I've done that before. And we'll give you a little push. Um, it looks high. I'll take you a bit lower. Ready now? It's still quite high. How about here? OK. Wow! I did it! I did it! Well done, Pepper. Yes, you did brilliantly. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Watch this. <laughs> Off! Are you all right? Yes, I think so. She's fine. When you're learning to skateboard, there's lots of falling off. Yes, that's why helmets are ace. Wow, that's so good. Can you do that, Daddy? Um, I expect I could if I wanted to. Please show us, Mr Pig. Oh, all right. Um, Daddy Pig, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Right, have you ever been on a ramp before? Not as such. Wow, he's gone to the highest ramp. Oh, and realised quite how high this was. <laughs> Maybe I'll... Wow, look at him go. My goodness. That was awesome. Unbelievable. My daddy is the best at skateboarding because he is very old. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> daddy Pig loves skateboarding. Everyone loves skateboarding. Hop, skip, jump. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. Can't catch me. You're never going to get me! Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello! Hello, Rebecca! What are you playing? We are running! Running is good, but can you hop? Yes, I can! Hop! 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 That's not hopping, Pepper. That's jumping. Oh! Hopping is when you jump up and down on one leg. Like this. Hop, 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 hop. Rebecca hop, Rabbit hop, is good at hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Come on, George. Hopping is easy. You just jump on one leg. Hop. Hop. That's it. Hop, 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 hop. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Susie. Susie. What are you playing? We are hopping. Like this. <laughs> Super duper. But can you skip? Yes, we can skip. Skip, 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 skip. skip, skip, <laughs> skip. That's not skipping. That is just funny running. Oh. oh! Skipping is when you hop on one leg, then hop on the other leg. Like this. Susie is good at skipping. Hop on one leg. And then the other. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> oh! George is good at skipping. <laughs> I can skip the highest. I can skip the longest. I can skip the fastest. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Hey. Hello, Pedro. What are you playing? 
We were hopping. And now we are skipping. Have you done jumping? No, but I love jumping. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Peppa is good at jumping. Hopping, skipping and jumping. Can you do them all together? What? what? Like this? Oh! <laughs> That's impossible! I mean a hop, a skip and then a jump. Like this. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh! My go! Hop, skip, ah, jump! No, that's wrong. I can do it. Skip, skip, hop. No. Jump, jump, jump. No. Let me try. Jump, hop, hop. <gasps> no. Hop, skip, jump is not easy. You have to keep it steady, like this. Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Peppa has found a muddy puddle. Hop, splash, skip, splash, jump, splash. Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> this is the best. Peppa loves hop, skip, jump. Everyone loves hop, skip, jump, especially in muddy puddles. 